G'day guys, here we are at the number 32 framing exercise. Um, so these next couple framing exercises, or these, yeah, these two here, they're going to use all joints that we've used before, um, but just sort of combining a couple in the one drawing. Um, yeah, so we, in this one you can see straight up we've got the uh, dovetail on one end and a bridle joint on the other end. We've drawn those two before, shouldn't be any problems. Um, and so yeah, let's get straight into it. We're using a piece of 90 by 45 for the ends. So we'll chuck a rectangle in from here, 90 comma 45. There we go. We'll zoom in on that and we'll push it up by 200. So click once, 200, enter. There we go. Okay. So we'll triple click, right click, make it a component. There we go. Now we've got to double click to edit that component. So all we need to do to this front piece is put that dovetail profile in. Okay. Um, so let's see, what, what's the information about the dovetail? The top of the tail is 70 millimeters wide, and it tells us that the dovetail is centered in the material, so we've got to mark it out from the center, and the angle or the pitch of it is one to, is at a one to six ratio, okay? So for starters, we'll measure along the top, we'll find our center point, which should be at 45 millimeters, okay? And then if, it, if the top of it needs to be 70 millimeters, um, we've got to go out half of that each way. So half of 70 is 35 and half this way is 35. Okay, so there's the top two corners of the dovetail. Now, we need to also mark out where the bottom of the dovetail will be. So that will be 45 millimeters down because this piece of timber that it's joining to is 45 millimeters thick. We can transfer that line straight across to 90 millimeters. Okay, now for those <clears throat> that don't remember or if you might've forgotten how to set up a one to six slope again, I'll show you one more time. You pick a corner anywhere on your material, so it doesn't really matter. Um, let's do it on another face so we don't get confused. We'll do it on the back side. How about that? Um, to set that out, you've just got to pick a corner, measure from one point from from the corner out one unit. So pick a number. I think 10 is easy. So we go 10 millimeters out that way. That's the one part of the ratio. And then this way, we've got to go six times that unit. So we use 10. So six times 10 is 60. Okay. So there is the, um, there's our one to six slope. Now we've just got to measure that angle with the protractor. So we hover over this point, click, click on where we started and then go up to that and see that gives us that one to six slope. Now what we're looking for is the angle. See in the dimensions of the, um, this toolbar down here, it says angle. When we hover over that, it says 80.5, okay? So our um, the, the angle we need to put in for our dovetail is either gonna be 80.5 or 9.5, okay? So let's swing it around to the other side. We'll look at this and we'll click on here, make sure we're on the right axis. If it doesn't snap to it straight away, just use the arrow keys. I think we need to press the uh, left arrow key to get it on the green. We click once here, we're gonna go straight down. Now when you go straight down, you can click anywhere as long as you're on the blue axis, as long as that dotted line's blue. Click and then move it across and I can see I need the angle is showing up down here. It needs to be about there, so I can see I've got to type in 9.5. Enter. Perfect. So we're going to do the exact same thing here. Click once, go down the blue axis, click again, and 9.5. Enter. Okay. So there's two lines. We can put those in with the pencil now. So we go from here. Uh, I don't think it's actually... Oh, no, it might let us... No, it won't actually. Sorry. Can't start there. We're going to have to start from here. If we start, from, I'm not sure why it's um, doing that, but see how it's letting us snap to that point. We'll go there. Okay, from here, snap onto that point and up to the top. Okay, and uh, now we can look at the drawing and we see that we're going to keep the tail. So we're going to remove these shoulders here, just with the push pull tool, and that piece is done. Okay, easy peasy. Now uh, we've got to put in the next piece. So that's another piece of 90 by 45. So let's type in 90 comma 45, and we'll push it across, how far? 300 mil. So 300, zero, zero, enter. Now, first thing, triple click, make it a component. Component two, that's fine. Great, now we'll double click so we can edit the component. Now we need to remove the opposite part here. So we're gonna click, we can just trace what we've already done. Click there, there, click there, to there. And then we're gonna push in this middle bit to get rid of that all the way to the back of that, okay? So we've now removed that and that joint should fit together perfectly now. Okay, we'll check it at the end, but I'm pretty confident that'll work. 
let's put in the bridle joint. So we need to double click again, and let's see what information we have. I'll just um, hold down control and zoom in on this a little bit so we can see a bit closer. So it's 90 millimeters wide and the bridle joint is broken up to 30, 30, 30. So for starters, we'll use the tape measure just to put in those marks, 30, 30. And we don't need to do another one because we know that left over will be 30. Now we can just use the pencil tool here to draw those lines straight down on the blue axis, straight down on the blue axis. And on this top piece, we can see we're removing the middle because we've got the light timber there. So we've got the push pull tool and we're gonna push it in 45 millimeters. Okay, so that is that top piece there done. Okay, easy, look at that. So we can leave that now and we'll put in another piece for that final back piece. And that is another piece of 90 by 45, enter. And we're gonna push it down by, well, I can't remember what it was. We could add up those two numbers or we can just hover over the bottom there and click on that. Okay, again, triple click, make component. That's our third component. Double click on it to edit it. Now we're gonna be removing the shoulders this time, I guess, because we just wanna be left with the middle bit. So uh, pretty easy this time. We can just use the rectangle tool, click from that corner to that corner, that corner to that corner, and we're gonna push those away like that. Okay, now the final test will be um, coloring it in. I'll just delete the guides quickly so they're out of the way. Um, where's the paint bucket? There it is. And we're gonna paint the upright ones light and the top one dark. Okay, that looks exactly right. Let's see, make sure everything slides properly. So we grab this piece and we'll go on the green axis. And yep, I can see there's nothing stopping that from sliding together for a perfect fit. Good stuff. And then this back one, we'll check it up and down. Um, click on it. And yep, look at that. It fits together perfectly. Okay, fantastic. That is framing exercise number one done. Um, we'll just save that file, save. And in my connectivity folder, that's going to be number 32 framing exercise. Save. And we'll go file new. And next up. Looks a bit tricky, I reckon it won't be too hard. All right, see you in the next video.